Welcome to tonight's Where's the Trade? My name is Joshua Bellinger of OptionSizzle.com and today we're going to look at Dell Incorporated. So uh, if you're not aware of, Dell currently has an offer on the table from its founder, Michael Dell, and a couple of his buddies uh, got some money together and uh, are looking to take the company private. The current offer on the table is at thirteen sixty-five. dollars So taking a look here, we can see that uh, prices are above thirteen sixty-five dollars here. And what's going on with this one if we take a look at the options? And if we look at today's options, we don't really want to focus in on the February contracts, but what we want to do look at is look at the back of the board contracts here. So uh, the thing that I've been noticing and have uh, that I've written to my uh, premium members uh, yesterday was the accumulation of uh, out-of-the-money calls. And the contract that w I was focusing on yesterday was in the April 14s. And yesterday, there was a buyer that actually rolled up the 14s into the 15 contracts here. And you could see that the April 15s traded 14,000 times today, and you had about 34,000 trade in the Aprils. So what we want to do is start looking at the back of the board here, because this is where the, uh, the Giants are telling us and giving us a blueprint of what could be happening here. So we see positioning in May as well. We see 27,000 contracts. And again, where is the focus at? It's on the 14 strikes and also the 15s. Let's take a look at the August. More activity here. So we have interest in the 14 and 15. And then we have the January 15 contracts in 2014. And let's see what we have in the January 15. So we see that the 15 contracts are pretty much, 14s and 15s are very active across the board on all contracts. And that's telling us that uh, there's positioning from these larger institutions, these hedge funds and these uh, other individuals, hedge funds that are uh, potentially looking for what would what would would be a higher bid to come. Now you see 180,000 contracts traded against 24 or 25,000 puts, and again we trade we see what's uh, traded on the offer and the ask here, um, and also in between market, and you know with this with this what is going on here is there's a little bit of speculation that there's a higher bid that possibly could come. Now, people are not happy with this current 1365 offer. So what you're seeing is that the the larger institutions are positioning for a higher bid to come. And in that in, in that process, what they're trying to do is position for this higher bid and also cause this bid to happen. So we're seeing this positioning and you know, one of the things that you could consider is uh, it, to play the speculation is to play it with some kind of spread. Now, I uh, in my premium guidance that I offer to my members, I uh, I talked about the possible trade based off of that. But uh, the the way that I explain it to them would be would be using a spread here. Uh, you just want to make sure that you have enough time because a deal like this or, or some kind of uh, uh, offer like this doesn't happen within a few days and that's why you see a lot of the positioning happening in some of the longer dated options here so if you look to position for that you want to make sure that you don't put don't put yourself in enough time or uh, pay up for enough time but make sure that you have enough time that if there is a deal and a higher bid to come that uh, you have the opportunity to play it